Wow, I am back from a great day of shopping. They really took my luggage. I called while I was out, but I'm gonna go up to my mother-in-law, have some caviar in this fancy hotel, and I think I'm gonna change into something I bought today. After breakfast, we had someone drive us over to Versailles. We are staying at the Versailles Hotel, or officially, I believe it's called the Grand Control Chateau. We checked in and were appointed a butler who even held our umbrella. Then we did a tour of our suite and got ready for tea. <laughs> this is the beautiful room that we had tea in. Tea was amazing. We had little sandwiches, a bunch of little dessert. Now we're gonna get changed so we can go into the pool. You reserve a slot. Here's the outfit I wore for my first day in Versailles. Totally loved it. So pretty and I feel like a princess here. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> the indoor pool was stunning. I love the decor, all the plants, statues, and the ambiance of the place. It was really nice to swim in. Well, that was amazing. We just did a tour of the King's apartments and we were literally in the hall of mirrors with like nine other people um i feel so lucky that we got to see versailles this way everything was just massive very ornate beautiful kind of like this room but you know it's just it was pretty crazy i was so excited the tour lasted an hour and i was like no i don't want it to be over but we are going to be doing more touring so tomorrow is going to be the queen's apartments which will be awesome. I cannot wait to see all of that, just to see what all of the Queen's rooms look like and Marie Antoinette's rooms. Everything was so pretty. Yeah, just love it. I'm heading down now. Finance. En revanche, ce soir, il ne prêtera guère attention aux dépenses de son peuple. Que l'on apporte les entrées du roi. <laughs> Dinner was so beautiful and theatrical. As you can see, everybody is dressed in costume. They're actually dressed like that the entire time you're there. They treat you like royalty. And the table we were sitting at was in the center of the dining room. It was very beautiful. And the food was amazing. I mean, Ducasse has a Michelin star and is a great chef. After dinner, we sat outside for a bit. And then we walked around the hotel to explore while everyone was sleeping. I had some fun on the harp. <laughs> I've heard better. <laughs> we just really loved this hotel and were so excited for our first night. This was the second tour of the trip and we were touring the Petite Trianon. We saw a portrait of Marie Antoinette that was controversial at the time. At first she had herself painted in regular white clothing. When the people were upset by this, they had it repainted to have her wearing more luxurious clothing. We saw Marie Antoinette's bedroom, her dressing room, which was a very pretty powder blue. And we also saw some graffiti, which I thought was funny. There was so much detail in the petite train on the walls, furniture, and art was very pretty. This is so pretty. After the tour, we had another amazing meal by Ducasse. I can't believe Justin agreed to do this with me, but he is the best. We dressed up in 17th century costume and paraded around the Chateau and Versailles while a photographer followed us and took amazing shots. Our photo shoot was amazing. The girl came, she put us into costumes. Um, yeah, it was a dream. Now we're gonna explore the hotel because it is downpouring and it's kind of nice raining in Paris. So yeah, we're gonna walk around, maybe ask this guy who seems to know a lot of history and a lot about this hotel just some questions yeah justin did you have fun doing the photo shoot yeah it was fun <laughs> it was amazing it is pouring as you can see here i had a beautiful view of versailles from my window oh <laughs> that sounds so pretty 
<laughs> we're just hanging out the window. <laughs> For our next tour, we toured the palace. I absolutely loved it, just like I loved everything else. The walls and ceilings were so beautiful, lots of art. And in this part of the tour, we can really see some massive paintings. You just wonder how they did them. Again, just like all the tours before this one, we were completely on our own. We went after hours and I believe there was six other people other than our group on this tour. So that was really special to be able to walk around and look at the art and just be in the palace completely alone besides a few guards and our tour guide. As we entered into the queen's bedroom, we were very surprised to see two women, one playing the harp and one singing. Apparently they were rehearsing for an event that night. It was so cool to see them there. And as we walked into the Hall of Mirrors, there was classical music playing live by performers dressed in costume. And here I am in the Hall of Mirrors with very few people. Um, I've read about the Hall of Mirrors in a textbook, loved it, thought it was beautiful, and can't believe that this was my first experience of it. For the last bit of the tour, we got to tour the Queen's private apartments. I believe this is closed off to the public, and it is very small up there, so that might be why. It was so cool to see this part and learn more about the Queen's private life. And yes, the tour was amazing. And now I'm going to very quickly get dressed because we have dinner like in two minutes um but look my new outfit i'm so excited to wear it wait till you see it it's gorgeous i got this outfit while shopping in paris for our last dinner at versailles and i really wanted to do something jewel toned which is why i'm wearing emerald so here is the top i am all ready it's starting to look nice outside after the rain um, I think I'm going to keep my hair to one side so you can see the shoulder and my earring. It's cute. I'm going to get on some red lipstick. Okay, we are all ready for our last dinner at Versailles. Justin's suit. Oh, I took my shoes off. <laughs> Oops, I love it. My outfit. I have this whole green suit on and we're ready to go. <laughs> this day ended off so special. Justin ended up proposing to me on the terrace of the chateau overlooking this orangery. It was a fairy tale. We're FaceTiming people right now. Everyone's very excited. After the proposal, we had dinner in the Marie Antoinette room. It was our final feast and we had such an amazing meal. The menus were beautiful. All of the wine pairings that we had were amazing. The dessert. Everything, everything is perfect. And the night ended off with some fireworks, which were such a surprise. They were coming from the palace. There was classical music playing. Um, we were very full and happy and just having the best night. This is a beautiful firework show. I think it lasted like 20 minutes, um, but yeah, it was so, so amazing. This night was pure joy for me. I had the best proposal. A huge thank you to Justin and his parents for all the planning they did. Uh, I will never forget this. Felicitations. Which means, like, congratulations, I think, in French. When we got back to our room, our room was covered in rose petals and candles. And here's me in the morning admiring my ring and Versailles. Taking a little ATV ride into Versailles. Through the gates you go. Golf cart. <laughs> on. No, golf cart. Oh, ATV, I said. My fiance is driving us. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Versailles orange. <laughs> it's beautiful. The hotel provided guests with golf carts that they could take around the grounds of Versailles. It was so cool that as you drove up to certain fountains or areas, the golf cart would play an audio for you explaining to you 
the history of that area and it was just really nice. It was like having another tour guide walk you around Versailles. So we got out to explore a little bit. Bosque de Lorraine. It's my just I'm gonna take a thousand photos like this. <laughs> We spent a while walking around the grounds looking at statues and they have so many fountains in Versailles, each one different, very beautiful and ornate. Then we met up with a tour group to tour the Grand Trianon. I absolutely loved the Grand Trianon. Each room was a different color, one was pink, one room was beautiful and yellow. And it was interesting to learn that at the time that Marie Antoinette was ruling, the royal family liked to incorporate lots of nature and even mythology into the palace. I love the green marble that is in this video here. And this is a marble champagne cooler. The gardens of the Grand Trianon were beautiful and I also loved all of the pink marble that was used to create this place. Well, we are heading back now. That was beautiful, the tour, and just running around on the golf carts and all the beautiful gardens. We have 30 minutes to pack, so I will see you guys after that. Um, then we're going to explore Versailles more. It's so large and beautiful here. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. This looks amazing. People are touring today. There's not that many people, surprisingly. My proposal bouquet. This is where Justin proposed to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's where you took the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Having some tea before we go. <laughs> we just checked out of our room. Um, I'm in the spa now, which is super nice. The hotel let us have one last dip in the pool, which was really great. This is so beautiful. Which ones? So we're on the steps of Versailles. This is the orangery. And right there on the terrace overlooking all of this is where Justin proposed to me. <laughs> After we checked out, we no longer had the golf carts, but it was really nice to walk around and really slow down this time. Over there, like... On our way to the Grand Canal. After touring around the garden some more, we finally headed over to the lake. I really wanted to try the rowboats and it was a lot of fun. Justin's got us on a rowboat. Ah! <laughs> so beautiful. Hey, I think we're turning back. You didn't bring a jacket with you, did you? No. Ah! Oh my gosh, the sky looks nice to me. Oh, oh everyone's running. I think we're getting it back. Uh, why are people screaming? I'm like scared. Thank you all so much for watching. This was such an amazing trip and was so special, especially because Justin proposed. Please subscribe. And if you made it this far, like this video. My next video is going to be a tour of the hotel and our rooms. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that.